They are collectible drinking glasses featuring cartoon characters, comic book heroes. But these splashes of color also come with potentially dangerous metals. You have glasses that are being made, marketed, and sold that would have uh, these levels of lead that would far exceed federal guidelines. Up to 1,000 times the federal limit for children's products in these glasses with characters from DC Comics and The Wizard of Oz. Laboratory testing commissioned by the Associated Press also found high levels of the even more dangerous cadmium. But there are no federal limits on this toxic metal on the surfaces of these glasses. The superhero and Oz glasses are made in China, purchased at a Warner Brothers studio store in Burbank, California. The findings are part of a continuing AP investigation into dangerous metals in children's products, be it jewelry or glasses. This summer, McDonald's recalled 12 million glasses when cadmium escaped from artwork depicting Shrek characters. After that, the AP randomly bought glasses appealing to kids, new off the shelf and old collectibles. What else may be out there right now? And then also looking back, because of course these collectible glasses have been in circulation for, for decades really, um, what, what may have been going on over time as well. Testing shows it was easy to find glasses appearing to violate federal lead laws. It is up to the government to decide if these glasses are so-called children's products, subject to strict limits for lead. If not, the lead levels would be legal. The danger is that these colorful designs can wear away, metal in the enamel entering a child's mouth. Lead can reduce IQs in kids. Cadmium is a carcinogen and may harm kidneys and bones over time. All of this has some parents worried. It's also affected the choices that we make in terms of where we, where we eat or what we, the types of things that we get for our children. Definitely, it, it's affecting you know, the way we purchase. The AP also tested glasses for how much lead or cadmium could escape from the decorations during normal handling. Those results pointed to potential health concerns. The levels are, are uh, low in the sense of they're not, no one is going to touch this glass, put their hand to their mouth and fall ill. This is, this is a low-level, uh, overtime concern. The importer of the superhero and Wizard of Oz glasses says they passed all relevant testing. And both the importer and Warner Brothers say the glasses are marketed to adult collectors, not kids. For years, companies in the U.S. have tried to get rid of lead in decorations. But cadmium is an important pigment. Without it, glasses like these may be safer, but not as colorful. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.